Yeah, yeah, man. It's the homie Hood Legend back with another vlog. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with everything going on in Battle Rap. RBE got this full circle card that's going down. You know what I'm saying? Full circle. You know what I'm saying? He's bringing it back. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the blue room without the room. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's kind of what it is. You know what I'm saying? ARP, he got Avocado and his team to go out there and kind of like line up a circle and be like pushing the camera around in circular motion getting the bars and it's not a lot of people there it's kind of like the rooftop setting you know what i'm saying like kind of like they was doing like when they was back in cali so you know what i'm saying it's kind of dope you know what i'm saying but this car should be okay you know what i'm saying but i don't know how much steam is gonna get behind it if the battle is gonna promote if they're not gonna promote or what's gonna be going on First of all, you got Big K versus Coach Coleon. You know what I'm saying? Like, Coach finally getting these looks, bro. Coach done battled Geechee. It was a one-rounder, but he still got to battle Geechee. You know what I'm saying? Like, Coach is kind of like one of those guys that's new coming in the game. He was in the Bags and Bodies house. He kind of like want the names now. He's trying to like, trying to build his resume and get to the next level. And salute to Big K for taking this battle because like, Big K need to start back battling like he used to because he won't go on another champion of the run year like he did before because he's not gonna have the Mook battle. He's not gonna have a Rex battle. So that was just his year. You know what I'm saying? Like when you, when you have a year that's kind of like big, kind of like how Big K did and you kind of like captivate the moment, you have to capitalize off of it also and he kind of did that to a certain degree and now it's kind of like time for Big K to get back in the ring and start back battling again because like that champion of the year runs bro I don't see those popping back out no more I just don't you know what I'm saying he had a phenomenal year last year but you know what I'm saying as time go on you, like you can't get those big battles again unless you like start battling more often and kind of see where you at kind of like with your pen you know what I'm saying but if I had to choose, I got Big K winning this joint because he does, he's the A side in this battle and Coach is kind of like trying to build his resume. So I got Big K. Then you got Rosenberg Raw versus Austin. Both of these niggas is coming off of losses. Look, let's just keep it real. Let's keep it 100 now. Like, Raw, you've been on your little, like, your, your, your Skycast, your podcast, you know what I'm saying? Like, the stream team, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you got to get serious about battle rap. You can't be doing this, I, I'm serious, this battle, the next battle, I'm not serious, you can't be doing that, bro, you know what I'm saying, so, with that being said, like, Arsenal also, he coming off a loss versus bad news for that money, for that bread, he lost for the money, like, 40, 50 bands or something was on the line, Arsenal, at you being, like, trying to be on the guard tier, and one of the guards in, the, in this battle rap shit, and, like, you actually, like, setting down bricks and you kind of wanting to be on Mount Rushmore, you can't be losing month like battles for 50 bands, bro. You got to make sure you come out there and win that battle. But T-Rex was out there rapping in front of uh, T uh, and P. Diddy and all them niggas. He made sure he won that money, bro. He, <laughs> that nigga kept looking up like he was stargazing. Like, <laughs> Rex was not going to come out of there without losing that money. So with that being said, Arsenal, you got to get back in your bag, man. It seemed like you had, like you got the studio popping off and all this and that. But like with Battle Rap, period, it seemed like you kind of ain't serious about it. You just want your check and that be that. But you know what I'm saying? Both of y'all coming off losses. You know what I'm saying? Raw... You got to do better. This is a big battle for you, Rosenberg Raw. Whether you believe it or not, this is a big battle for you, bro. This is one of the ones that's going to determine the fact of what you're going to be doing for the rest of this year going into next year. You know what I'm saying? Like, Arsenal can get in there and get disrespectful with you. He can go bar for bar, too, but he can get disrespectful. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, 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 and Arsenal. You know what I'm saying? Don't let Rosenberg Raw go in there and walk you down, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You got to show why who you are, who you are, and who you say you are. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I got Arsenal winning this battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got Arsenal winning this joint. Only because he's a vet and he's going to go into this joint and he kind of got something to prove because he's coming off a loss with like 40, 50 bands. Then you got Swave, Seva versus Jag. You know what I'm saying? Jag made sure he battled somebody that he knew was going to show up. He said Swave was going to show up. I'm battling Swave. Book Swave, ARP. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jag got tired of being in the, in like, his last opponent in the full circle kind of like flopped on Charlie Clips was in the city, but he didn't pop out. You know what I'm saying? And that kind of made Jag go crazy, feel mad about his situation, not even to the point where he don't even want to battle clips no more. You know what I'm saying? He released his rounds online. I think it was on Hip Hop Is Real. So it's just like, damn, man. Like, yo, like, Jag, like, look, look, forget all this. Let's, let's book Swave. Swave is going to show up. You know what I'm saying? Like, Swave, I'm going to keep it real. You've been doing your 15 minutes of fame numbers, bro. You need to get this win versus Jag. This is a, a good battle for you this year. You ain't been getting booked lately. 
Swave ain't been getting booked lately. Let's just keep that 100. Swave has not been getting booked lately. So with that being said, bro, Swave, you got to go in there. You got to go right back into the dojo, nigga. Show up in a karate suit or song. I don't know what you got. Hey, little bro, you need to do something. You need to go to the lab and, like, like kind of, like, get it together, Swave, because you been on, like, a... Like a downward spiral, bro. The numbers on 15 minutes of fame done drop and all this and that, bro. Like, sweet. look, Sway, Team Homie, bro. Like, Team Homie, you got to breathe breath back into the team. You know what I'm saying? Bring these niggas back. Where's where's money bags? Where's all these niggas? Where's your niggas, bro? Bring me team. Uh, reassemble Team Homie, bro. What's going on, Sway? You know what I'm saying? But, like, bro, you got to win this battle, Sway. You got to win this battle because Jack and come in and I play with you. He's already mad because... She, like clips didn't show, bro. You look, you cannot play with him, Sway. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. But if I had to choose, I got Jag within this joint, bro. I'm gonna keep it real. Jag is going there. He gonna, he gonna talk to Sway. He gonna talk to him about karate class and everything. <laughs> he gonna be in there like he missed the Miyagi. Like word up, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be crazy, bro. It is gonna be crazy. Yeah, you know, that's gonna be a good battle. I feel like that that could potentially be battle of the night because Jag gonna get in there and go crazy. You know what I'm saying? But then you got Ill Will versus Emerson Kennedy. You know what I'm saying? Like, EK finally, like, stepping on that stage of RBE. He kind of, like, want to see what it's like over there again. You know what I'm saying? Like, he done graced the stage before. Like, EK want to go over there and battle a heavyweight. He want to battle a heavy hitter. He want to battle Ill Will. He want to battle one of these niggas who, like, name is, like, in the, like, top tier. Like, Ill Will is one of the niggas who name ain't on Mount Rushmore. But it's like his jersey is kind of like will be retired in the rafters after he finished playing. You know what I'm saying? He's a Hall of Fame player. Let's just keep it real, bro. Ill Will done put it on for Yaktown. He was arguably one of the top niggas in the city. You know what I'm saying? Like, one of the top battlers doing his numbers. Ill Will is, like, one of them dudes who just don't come to play. I, I haven't yet to see Ill Will go out there and, like, like lay an egg. Besides with pain. Let's just keep it real. Ill Will, you went out there lay the egg versus pain, bro. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if he wanted to battle pain. If he didn't, if he did, I don't know what was going on with that situation. But it just kind of seemed like crazy. You know what I'm saying? But, like, Ill Will don't come to play, bro. Like I said, his jersey will be retired. Like, one of the top dudes out there. You know what I'm saying? Then you, like, you got Emerson Kennedy. You know what I'm saying? Which, EK is nice, bro. His battle versus Twerk. Hey, EK was not out there playing. He was out there doing his numbers, especially in that battle with Twerk. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was, like, a good, a great, like, back and forth. You know what I'm saying? You're like, damn. Like, I didn't think EK could, like, actually write to that level of capacity where he could actually stay on the level of a New Jersey Twerk. But he actually, like, he went there. You know what I'm saying? That nigga went to the top of the mountain, and he didn't come down until he had the Ten Commandments. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to keep it real. And that was a, that was a good battle. EK... For this to be a good battle and for this to turn out to be what you want it to be, you had to reciprocate that same energy and that same motivation that you had for the New Jersey twerk battle. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to keep it real because Ill Will is one of them dudes who's not going to play. He's one of them dudes who can come in there and captivate the moment and steal the crowd from you immediately. And then once the crowd is against you, it's kind of hard to get him back on your side, bro. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real. So, EK, you have to write for this battle. You have to write. Right. This is a full circle. Like everybody's gonna hit the bars. So you have to make sure that when you write for this battle, that it's one of your best battles. Like kind of like make sure you like trim the fat on all the rounds. Go over it three or four times to make sure you have it. You don't stutter over a word or nothing. Because Ill Will is one of them artists that can get in there and like he's a battler that can like freestyle. He can like rebuttal. He can like just steal the moment from you with any, like, little two, three bar setups. You know what I'm saying? So, EK, make sure you're right, bro. I'm just going to keep it real. I got Ill Will winning this battle, bro. Come on, man. Like, it's just, let's just keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? Ill Will ain't going to come out there and play with niggas. You know what I'm saying? But I got Ill Will winning this battle 2-1. I'm, I'm giving EK a round. You know what I'm saying? Just because of his writing capacity. EK can get there. You know what I'm saying? But this is a very a little dope event that uh, ARP is throwing, you know what I'm saying, full circle. So, um, you know what I'm saying, ARP don't feel like he want to be retired, bro. This nigga don't want to retire. Yeah, he do He do not want to retire. He, he got one foot one foot in, one foot out. I guarantee you by next year, we going to get another max out. You know what I'm saying? Let's just keep it real. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it's the homie hood legend. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Hit that subscribe button. It's free. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like button. It's free, man. Run them numbers up, man. But anyway, it's the homie hood legend. Don't forget... Subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out.